What's going on, Port fans? Welcome back to another video on my channel, and today I'm going to take you through memory lane. This week we play West Coast at Optus Stadium for the very first time, so I thought what a better way to introduce this week than having a look through the archives and checking out some games that we've played at new grounds. So, without further ado, this is five times we've played at new grounds in the AFL. I will let know, Port fans, that I didn't choose these games in any particular order at all. So they're all special in their own way. And there has been so many more games that we've played at new venues over the course of our AFL history. But I thought these ones had a little bit more um, of a sentimental value to the club. So let's get straight into it. So number five, um, we played in Darwin, 2004 at well, what is now known as Marara Oval. Um, round 20, 2004, where we went up there for the very first time. It was, in fact, the first ever AFL-sanctioned game in Darwin. And we played the Western Bulldogs, and we absolutely pummeled them by 86 points. It was a... I think I vaguely, vaguely remember the game, too. It was right at the end of the 2004 season, round 20, um, we were primed for a premiership. So, yeah, that was a good game with... Um, 13,271 people attending the first ever match in Darwin, which I thought was very nice indeed. Sticking with the Darwin fever, we move a little bit more south to Alice Springs at Traeger Park, where Port Adelaide took on Melbourne for the very first time in an AFL-sanctioned game in Alice Springs. It was round 11, 2014. Port Adelaide were in the middle of a great, uh, great new season, and Melbourne were still pretty, pretty bad as a football club, but... Nonetheless, it was a great spectacle for the 5,655 people that attended, and a few of you may remember that game. 14, 11, 95 to 11, 9, 75. It was a great day out for the Port Adelaide Football Club, and a great day out for Alice Springs, and ever since, there's been so many more games played there between Port and Melbourne, and Melbourne took on the Gold Coast last year as well, so it's been a pretty good hunting ground for Port Adelaide as well. Three wins from... Three games played. Alright, this one's a little bit more recent. Round 22, 2017, Port Adelaide went down to Ballarat at Eureka Stadium to take on the Western Bulldogs, who are hosting the first ever AFL sanctioned match in Ballarat. And it was a good spectacle for the 10,087 people that attended. And the good news is Port Adelaide came out on top by 17 points. It was 14, 12, 96 to 11, 13, 79. Um, this was obviously in the middle of Port Adelaide's comeback to the finals and the Western Bulldogs after being premiers in 2016. Uh, struggling a bit, but nonetheless, it was a great day out in Ballarat. Um, very windy, very cold, if some of you remember, but nonetheless, Port Adelaide got the victory and we I'm pretty sure play there again this year too, so looking forward to that and uh, it should be a nice, stable ground to stay in the AFL fixture for a very long time. This one has a little bit more special feeling to it, um, and a lot of you I think may guess that once I give you the hint, it was not played in Australia. Say what? That's right, Jung Wan Stadium, 2017, round eight, Port Adelaide took the AFL to China, where we played the Gold Coast Suns for the very first time in an overseas match played in an AFL season. Uh, this was a great day for Port Adelaide Football Club, a really proud day, um, and a vision set by Koshi and KT uh, for years now of, um, have set this game up to be a stable fixture throughout the coming years and play there again this year in 2018. 2017, the first game didn't go so well for the Gold Coast Suns. Um, Port Adelaide taking that game out by 72 points, 16, 14, 110 to four goals, 14, 38 in front of a great crowd for a Chinese point of view and an AFL point of view of 10,118. So an all in all great day for the club and a superb day for the Chinese fans. This last one, Port fans, is a little bit more close to home, and I think you know which one I'm going to be talking about here. It was played at this ground here in round 23, 2011. This was pre the redevelopment of the Adelaide Oval, and it was Port Adelaide taking on Melbourne for the very first time in an AFL game at the Adelaide Oval. Where Port, Ad Port Adelaide ran out eight point winners against a hapless Melbourne. It was our only our third win of the 2011 season. In front of 29,340 people, Port Adelaide took it to Melbourne and it was a great spectacle. I was there, it was a sensational day, the atmosphere was great and hope was brought back into the club after a horror season. So two and a half years later down the track, we played the Adelaide Crows in the redeveloped ground and we absolutely smacked their pants. <laughs> but that's not the point. 
Um, but it's just a great way to end this video because it's the Portress Adelaide Oval. Now we have 45, 50,000 people attending every week and it's just a spectacle that you must see at the Adelaide Oval. It's such a great spot um, and it's such a tourist attraction for Adelaide and South Australia. So a great job by everyone involved at the Adelaide Oval and by the Port Adelaide Football Club and the Adelaide Pros of course as well. Um, making it a, such a great ground to play at every week. So. That's it, Port fans. That's uh, five times we've played at new grounds. And coincidentally, I put in all wins. But there have been games that we have played at um, new grounds that we've lost. Speaking of, you've got Etihad Stadium, now, before then known as Etihad as um, Docklands, where we lost. If you've got any other grounds that we've played at that I've forgotten, please comment below and let me know what you think of these five different games, if you were at any of the games. It's been a lot of history made at these grounds by Port Adelaide, so... And this week, hopefully, more history will be made against the West Coast Eagles at Optus Stadium. Well, Paul fans, that ends this video today. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, special video that I've done. Um, please comment below any of these games that you may remember, any memories you have of them, or any games that I've forgotten that we've played over at new grounds over the last 20 plus years in our AFL history. Or if you can remember any SANFL games that we've played over the course of 140 plus years. Let me know in the comments below. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe for plenty more Port Adelaide content. Every week there is new content with reviews, previews, player chats at open trainings, vlogs, and any other videos that I come up with over the course of the season. Portis Podcast, 8pm Wednesday nights. Don't forget that other Facebook page in the description below. And that's it, Port fans. I'm done for another game. <laughs> game? Wow. Another video. Tune in next time. My name's Anthony, and as per usual, come the pair.